Today! Hump day! <laughs> <laughs> we made sure we had a video card that had enough room for the video this time. <clears throat> okay, anyways, today we are trying the Lindman's Keurig. Cherry Limbic Beer. So, this is from Belgium, out in Germany. Down somewhere. Uh, limited... I think that's called Crick. What? I think that's Crick. 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 Okay. <laughs> limited supply. This comes in at 4% alcohol by volume. And it's their aromatic way of getting the yeast. They just kind of leave it out in the open to hang out and chill with everybody else. That's why they only release them, or they make it, between October and May. So... That's what we are trying today. We tried the cherry. What raspberry. we tried? Raspberry. Raspberry last week. Today it's the cherry. The raspberry was delicious. Yes, they they nailed it on there. So this week we are two doing a two doing also doing. <laughs> okay, so I've had a couple of we've done a couple of videos today. Um. Now I've lost my train of thought. What the hell was I saying? <laughs> okay. Anyways. We opened the one last week. Because I totally spaced what I was saying. It's my loud, large and in charge shirt. It does. Remember when MTV actually had music? It's a very bright shirt. <laughs> it's so, it's like 1980. Like 89. <laughs> 89 was a good year. Ugh. Now, these bottles, they are very hard to get into. Because they come with a cap and a, and cap. a cork. <laughs> so, if you're, if you're buzzed before you open this, good luck. <laughs> Make sure this is your starter beer. <laughs> it's like a date night beer. Yeah. And they're not that expensive. I think they're like $5.98 or $6.98. And we got these at Specs. Okay, let's see if I can. <laughs> and make sure you haven't had too many before you open these because they're just really difficult. But the last one was worth it. So I got to say kudos to that. So anyways, the last one was a nice raspberry color. Let's find out what the cherry, or cherry is. It's got to be red too because it's cherry. Cherries are red. Oh, that, that's more of a red than the raspberry. And that's got a nice pink head on it. At least two fingers. There doesn't seem to be like... Look at this big bottle. You'd think there'd be more than a cup in it. Oh. They got that big divot in the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say. It... But, you know, whatever. Uh, but the last one was kick-ass. We really liked it. Here, you try this. See if it smells and everything like the other one. Well, it should smell different. Well, not like raspberry, but it should smell like uh, cherries. <laughs> it does have that cherry scent, but it's like the raspberry. You got the beer, but the the cherries in the last part of the aroma. You can pick up the malts, you can pick up the yeast. It smells good, but it doesn't smell sweet. The last one was the same way. Uh, in a lot of flavoring, they, they try to sweeten it up too much. This is not that. So you can smell the cherry, but you smell like a raw cherry. What are you doing back there? I'm recording a video. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you're having problems back there. They got that tart. Both of them got that like a raw cherry tartness, like 
the raspberry had it at the end. But you can pick up the malts, you can pick up a little bit of a yeast flavor in like a non-sweet cherry. You try yours? No, not yet. I was waiting to see if it tasted like cough syrup because it's cherry. No, really, it doesn't. So, <laughs> everything else that we've ever tried alcohol-wise is cherry, cherry tastes like, like cough syrup. This doesn't have that cough syrup taste. Like I said, it's only 4% alcohol by volume. So oh, this is good. It's got that raw cherry flavor. Yeah. So this is actually like drinking a real cherry flavored beer. Well, it is actually. This is a little bit more tart than the raspberry. <laughs> <laughs> but it's it's good. Um I think we finally found an alcohol that's cherry, that it does not taste like alcohol. It syrup. has the original cherry flavor. It doesn't taste like a NyQuil version of cherry flavor. It's or aromatessin. <laughs> aromatessin. Which, when we get into the moonshine cherry, I'm, oh, I'm just hoping it's good. Um, because that's coming up. We got some of those coming on Fridays. But, as far as this goes, um, the Lenmans, 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 right? Yeah. Okay, as far as <laughs> this one goes, they do make good beer. Um, they're distributed through Washington, they're made in Germany, and they're a limited release. But, but there's not a lot in them, really. <laughs> Because they got that big, huge dome at the bottom <laughs> and really heavy, thick glass. So, but it's 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 good beer. It, um, the flavors in it, if you're just kicking back at the end of the day, they're kick-ass. They're a little expensive it's, for that. I, I think it's worth it, though. But there, it's not like you're going to buy a six-pack. Because... Damn, <laughs> but you can drink them like that. These are very, very easy to drink. Um, and for girly beers, I like it. What do you think, baby? I, I like, I've liked both of them. So, they had one other flavor. I forgot what it was. Uh, I think it was apple. Yeah, and, uh, uh, apple liquor or apple beers. You'll have to get that. You'll have to get that one, though. I'll have to see if I can find it again. They have them up there in specs. So that's where we got those. Um, but that's what we got for today. Not bad. Um, I kind of enjoy these, actually. Yeah, these are pretty awesome. Uh, it, it almost reminds me back in the day of the wine coolers, but with actual flavor. This is nothing like a wine cooler. Break a little bit. No, it's been a long time since you've had a wine cooler. <laughs> it has been. Wine coolers are like... <laughs> Kool-Aid with alcohol, a little bit of yeah, alcohol. Yeah, but like I'm saying, this, this is like, it's it's closer to wine. Like, okay. it's, a, it's, a, it's a blend of beer and wine. It's really good, though. It, it is really good. Um, so, that's what we got for today. We'll argue about it later. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll see you Friday. Thanks for watching, everybody. <laughs> Thanks.